good afternoon today our topic is method overloading in java if a class has multiple methods having the same name but different in parameters it is known as method overload if we have to perform only one operation having same name of the method increases the readability of the program the advantages of the method overloading method overloading increases the readability of the program there are two different ways to overload the methods in java the first method is by changing number of arguments we can overload the method by changing second type is by changing the data type we can overload the methods first we will see the method overloading by changing number of arguments in this example we have created two methods first add method performs addition of two numbers and the second add method performs addition of three numbers in this example we are creating static methods so that we no need to create instance for calling the methods okay next we will create a class called adder so a class adder is created here two statements are available in the class static int add method which contains the parameter int a comma int b and it contains a statement return a plus b and another uh, line is static int add method it contains three parameters int a comma int b comma int c and it contains a statement written a plus b plus here two methods are defined in the adder class these methods are add add method first add method contains two parameters second add method contains three parameters so it is an example for method overload now we will create uh, we will create the we will call the methods we will call the both the methods class test overloading we will create first we will create one class the class name is class test overloading within the class we are defining the main method public static void main method and it contains string urds and uh, we are uh, using two system dot out dot printer learn in first system dot out dot printer learn the first add method is called and the second system dot out dot printer learn second add method is called the first add method contains two parameter second add method contains three parameters so that the output will be 22 and 33 method overload changing the data type of the argument in this example we have created two methods that differs in data type the first add method receives two integer arguments and the second add method receives two double arguments the first we will create the class called class adder it contains the add method static int int a comma int b and its statement is written a plus b and again we are defining the same method static double add method it contains the parameter double a double b it contains a statement and written a plus b now we are defining a class a class test overloading to and public static void method within that public static void main we are defining two statements system dot out dot printer and here we are calling add method with the parameter 11 comma 11 and the second system dot out dot printer and again we are calling the add method with the parameter 12.3 and 12.6 when we call add method with the 11 Uh, add method with the parameters 11 comma 11 we will get the output of 22 because two numbers are added and if we call the add method with the parameter 12.3 and 12.6 it will add two double numbers and it shows the output as 24.9 now we will see uh, whether main method can be overloaded or yes main method can be overloaded you can have any number of main method in class here yeah. but jvm calls main method which receives a string array as arguments only 
let us see an example. Class of test overloading flow, public static void main method. In this main method, the string ERDS is given. That is a string with the array, open bracket, close bracket, and the ARDS is given. Its statement is system dot out dot internal. Within that main with the string array is given. And again, we are defining two main methods, but uh, without the string array. And uh, one more main method is defined without the string ARTs. So these two main methods will not be executed. The main method, which is defined here in this slide, public static void main method, with the string array, with the ARDS, it will be executed so that the output will be main with the string, open bucket, and close bucket. So we can overload the main method, but only one method, one main method, which contains string array or ARDS only executed. Remaining main method will not be executed. Now we will see method overriding in Java. If a subclass has the same method declared in the parent class, it is known as method overriding in Java. In other words, if a subclass provides a specific implementation of the method, that has been declared by one of its parent class, it is known as method override. Usage of Java method overriding. Method overriding is used to provide specific implementation of a method which is already provided by its super class. Method overriding is used for runtime polymorphism. Rules for Java method overriding. There are three rules. The method must have same name as the parent class. The second rule is the method must have the same parameter as the parent class. And the third rule is there must be an easy relationship that is inheritance class must be available. So this is a diagrammatical explanation of rules for Java method override. Okay, here also three rules are given. First rule, second rule, third rule. First rule is method must have the same name in the parent class. Second rule Method must have same parent as in the parent class. And third one is there is a easy relationship that is inheritance class must be available. Now we'll see the example class vehicle. The example contains class vehicle and class bin. This is a simple example for inheritance. And the base class here, the base class is vehicle, and the subclass is bike. The base class vehicle contains one method, void run method, and the system dot out dot internal vehicle is running its statement is given. And uh, the subclass bike is defined or derived from the base class vehicle. The statement is class bike extends vehicle. And below that, public static void main is given. And below that, bike obj equal to new bike is given. Its meaning is the OBJ is the object under the class by and uh, its memory is allocated with a new keyword object. And then again, another uh, statement is there, OBJ dot run. Its meaning is using object, we are calling the run method. The run method is available in the super class vehicle. Now the output is vehicle is running. Here, using subclass object, we are calling the method run, which is available in the base class. So that it will execute and the output will be vehicle is abundant. Now, example of method overriding. Actually, in previous example, we studied base class and subclass. In base class, we derived, we defined one uh, method using subclass object. We access that. Here, we are going to define method one method in base class and the same method will be defined in the subclass also. In this example, we have defined run method in the subclass as defined in the parent class. It has some specific implementation. The name and parameter of the method are the same and there is a easy relationship between the classes. So there is method overriding. Java program to illustrate the use of Java method override. This is a program for method override. Here, two classes are defined class vehicle and class bike 2. Class vehicle is a base class. Class bike 2 
is the subclass class by two is derived from the base class vehicle. The base class contains a run method. It contains a state when system dot out dot until and vehicle is running. And the class by two, that is subclass, contains the same method, void run method, and it contains system dot out dot until run statement. Here bike is running safely. The message is given. Now we are going to execute this program so that we are going to create the main method. In the main method, we are creating the object under byte 2, that is subclass object we are creating. Byte 2 obj equal to new byte 2. The meaning of this statement, statement is under the byte 2 subclass, the object is created and memory is allocated. And then next line is obj dot run. Here using object, we are calling the method run so that it will cause the subclass method. In both the class, the run method is available, but it calls the subclass method so that the output will be bike is running safely. Okay, so up to that, we have studied about method overloading and the method. Okay. Thank you.